In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our prayer this morning is the Memorare. Let us pray. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, and sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we come to you, O virgins of virgin, our mother. To you we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O mother of the word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. Mother Francisca Lechner, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, I'm Bridget. And I'm Emma. And you're watching Hill, Hill TV. TV. Today is day six. There will be a photography club meeting on Monday, November 28th in room 227 after school. Please have your $5 dues in cash or check me out to St. Joseph Hill Academy. Hill Drama Club's production of The Wizard of Oz is next week. We hope you have the heart to come see the show. Tickets are $20 in advance and $25 at the door. Now for today's segment of Hill Sports ne Network. Welcome to HSN. I'm Lauren, and let's get right into our Hill Sports update for this week. Not much has been happening lately as we are still freshly into our winter season, but our varsity swim team has had two meets in the past week, winning one and unfortunately losing one. Our varsity cheer team has just won a bid to nationals, meaning they will be traveling to Disney in a few months. Great job, girls. Now let's go to Amma for our pro sports. Good morning, I'm Amma, and this week in pro sports, we are in week 11 in the NFL, and both the Jets and Giants have lost. The Jets lost to their ultimate rivals, the Patriots, with a score of 3-10, to which they have not been able to beat since November of 2016. All I have to say that this is a complete disgrace. As a Jets fan since birth, I am appalled. Moving on to the Giants, who have unfortunately lost to the Detroit Lions, 18-31. to Luckily for any of the rare Buffalo Bills fans, they have beaten the odds of six feet of snow and triumphed over the Browns with a score of 31-23. Moving on into the NHL, the Rangers have finally won with a score of 2-1 against the San Jose Sharks. The Devils have also completely demolished the Ottawa Senators with a score of 5-1. Unfortunately, the Islanders lost badly to the Dallas Stars with a score of 2-5. This leaves the Devils on top, Islanders in third, and Rangers in fourth. In basketball, the Knicks have lost this week against the Warriors with a score of 101 to 111, and the Suns with a score of 95 to 116, but beat the St. Louis Jazz 118 to 111 and the Denver Nuggets 106 to 103. The Nets have lost against the Sacramento Kings 121 to 153, but beat the Portland Trail Blazers 109 to 107. This leaves the Nets in ninth, the Knicks in tenth. In tennis, the final tournament of the season, the NITO ATP Finals, have wrapped up with the 21-time Grand Slam champion Novak Djokovic sweeping past world number four, Casper Rudd, to claim his sixth NITO ATP final trophy and is currently tied for first with legend Roger Federer for most ATP final trophies. In soccer, the World Cup has just begun in Qatar. This past Sunday, Qatar hosted the opening match against Ecuador and unfortunately lost 0-2, becoming the first host nation to lose the opening match. That has been all for this week in sports. I'm Alma, and you just watched HSN. We are soon beginning work on the yearbook, the 2023 Hilltopper. Be a part of this year's staff as a writer, editor, designer, or photographer. Please note you do not have to be a senior to be on the yearbook staff. If interested, please fill out the Google form in the announcements to receive information about the first meeting, which will be after Thanksgiving break. If you have any questions, please email Ms. Regan, our yearbook moderator. The Google form link can be found in the announcement email. 
We are excited to announce our first archery competition will be held today in our gym versing NDA and C. We will be competing from 3 to 6. We would love to have some spectators supporting our girls. Now it's time for the big comfy couch. Hi, my name is Megan Buckley. Welcome to Big Comfy Couch. Good morning. Um, Dr. V begged me to film another segment because I'm so funny and charming and humble. Um, so here we are, Thanksgiving edition. I lied last time. You're seeing me again. Rockin' the Christmas shirt. Okay, least favorite Thanksgiving food. Oh, okay. I don't really like a lot of Thanksgiving foods. Okay, so what is the point? Okay, do you wait. celebrate? I do. Do you celebrate your thanks, or are you just there for the food? Not clearly, not you're not there I'm for the thankful, food. But I just let other people be more thankful than me. Okay. Wow! Do <laughs> you second that? Are you not grateful and you don't like the food? Um, that um, that my that. least favorite gonna have to be corn. I like a little canned cranberry sauce. I like a little turkey. I like a little stuffing. Why are you going for the corn? I'm gonna say stuffing. I'm not. I'm not a stuffing okay. person. <laughs> You're done. Clipped. You got clipped. Favorite dessert. Um, but I love a good apple pie with ice cream. Um, apple pie, not my first choice ever. Can I? My I mom makes me make it every year. I say, okay, I'll, you know, chop up the apples, but I will not be consuming this later. <laughs> Um, I don't know if this is traditionally a Thanksgiving dessert, but um, I'm always down for a, a good key lime pie. Get out! No, no, no! Get out! Get out! No, no, both key of you! Both of you! So bomb. Like, <laughs> key lime in autumn. It's key lime on the third or fourth week of November. I don't know what this is. Ooh, my aunt makes sweet potato pie, and I know y'all are all looking at me like this. Ew, gross! You know the dirt cake with the little pudding, a little crooky. That is so good. This is a peek into the Murphy household. No one's thankful, no one likes the food, and they're having dirt cake. Suma bonum. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy birthday today to Jess O'Regan. Today's famous birthdays are Scarlett Johansson, Jamie Campbell Bauer, and Mark Ruffalo. Today's national day is National Love Your Freckles Day. Shout out to my girl Dicav, my <laughs> favorite freckle. Oh my gosh. And um, please buy your tickets for Hill's production of The Wizard of Oz. We have been working very hard on our rehearsals and we are very, very excited. It is coming up so soon. And uh, buy your tickets in advance. Yep. Save that five extra dollars. I got my tickets. Everybody be getting. Better go get your tickets. <laughs> I know Emma's going to be there. I'll be there for sure. Um, and I'm expecting to see everybody else. So um, I all think right. that's all we have today. I'm Bridget. And I'm Emma. And you just watched Hill TV. TV. Bye.